They just got here. Time to go. You boys ready for a long ass drive? Oh, he's already got the camera on. Oh, fuck. Good morning. Let's go. to hit me with a hot shot while I was sleeping. Wake the hell up. No. It's yeah, scared. that. What well, you get for sleeping in the truck? Seven more hours Going with these hunt? assholes. Sleep in the fucking truck. right out there uh-huh from I think we shoot right here well she's coming back Don't see anything Well guys, opening day, what, how do you guys feel so far? Cold, tired, wet, raunchy. <laughs> raunchy, yeah. Kind of figured that once you woke up this morning. Well, kind of give a recap of the last day and a half we've been here. It's been raining. Wolves came through. Yeah. There's ice on everything. Yeah. We kept over. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much that's how it's been. Yep. 
Let's see how it goes. Do your normal stupidness. Yeah. He doesn't 
want to see how much shit we can see out here. Wow. See that dead tree right there? It's probably only about 150 yards away. This is how it's been all day. Socked in fog. Not much going on. Yeah. Besides Tweedledee and Tweedledum. <laughs> What are we doing? Playing baseball? Look at how ugly that is. Shake things up and get sick. Of it. <clears throat> when the fog is this thick, it's like you're in a soundproof room. They can't hear you at all. It's fine. So if you call like me, you're good to go. <laughs> you know. It only carries about a hundred yards down there. So you can sit here and practice all you want to. Don't I'll even run, worry I'll about run it. down there and prove it. Yeah. Can't hear a thing. <laughs> well, the weather finally Holy shit, it's soon seriously came fucking through. opening up. Well, it's starting to as soon as we get tacked up. Open up. Only took two and a half hours from sitting so, at this one spot. Yeah, when we got here, we had no idea that was even there. No. Yeah. Now we can see a mountain. We're like all dumbfounded by a mountain that's been there for hundreds of thousands. Of I years. thought it was. I thought. I thought it was still going down. Yeah. I thought that was way closer to us. Huh. Look at that. You got a pro tip? I, yeah, pro tip number 9,747. Don't listen to Ken when he says you can't use your fucking binoculars. Because you won't see nothing. <laughs> I lost the lead, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see. So what we're doing, uh, 
to this great glassing spot we got up to. As the crow flies, we measured it to be about a mile from camp, but really, how much do you think it would be it's probably, from yeah, going up and down? Up and down, it's probably three and a half miles. Three and a half miles. And this is just, I mean, there's just so much country here. We kind of, uh, me and Dakota came up with this idea. Me and him are gonna go back while James and Ken are gonna stay here, kind of glass, and we're gonna grab all of our, our tent, all four of our sleeping bags, more water, food. What else do we need? Uh, alcohol. Alcohol. <laughs> uh, anything you can think of for right now to sleep overnight up here. So that's what we're doing. We kind of emptied our packs as you can see. And we're going out light, coming in way, way heavy. So. Like a bunch of idiots. Yeah, yeah, we're stupid. But we'll see how this goes. Yeah, don't drop it on our equipment. Yeah, hopefully that wasn't anything valuable. <laughs> this is what we got going on here. Preston's probably got about a 75 pound pack. Because yeah, we're quick. we're packing in out to <laughs> those motherfucking rocks clear the fuck out there. We've already gone a mile back from camp after hiking all day. And this is his stupid ass hundred pound pack. Oh, we've got 16 waters in both these. We got food for <laughs> all of us for the next day and a half. Yeah, we got each. 16 waters each, so yeah, we're carrying 32, 32 waters. Almost a fucking Winco. Uh, then we got beer and liquor. Beer, liquor. We had to get those after this. We're gonna need it. And we both got. I've got a 10 pound tent on. I, we both got both of our sleeping bags. Food for half one and a half days. What else have we got? A kitchen sink? Pretty much. I feel like it. I feel like I grabbed a fucking washing machine, too. You know what? James and Ken are going to set up a tent while mm -hmm. we're drinking a beer. Yep. Yes, they are. They don't even know it yet. <laughs> <laughs> we still got probably about two and a half, three James miles back to him. You know this, right? He's going to be pissing. Oh, yeah. He's going to be a yeah. grumpy fuck. It's fine. He'll be okay. He'll get over it. Or he won't. But if he doesn't, He's four miles from camp, so fuck you. Yeah. Not as walked <laughs> down and up and down and up. Yeah. Another four miles. Not as gravity feels, it's not twelve hundred no, yards. Dude, it's probably five hundred yards straight down from this. Yeah, it gets pretty fucking steep. And thick. Oh man, but it's gorgeous country out here, it's big. There's a, you can't even see it. There's Burnt Knob Lookout clear up there. Um, Green Mountain is back here behind us somewhere. I don't know exactly, but my hands are starting to shake. <laughs> yeah, my so hips are. here we go. So, second morning of the elk hunt. That's my tent, right there. Spike camped it in last night, pressing I hiked back a ways to get everything. Enough gear for four people. There's the idiot now. Uh, and then, you come down and around. There's Ken, say hi Ken. Hi. <laughs> and you got, their little piece of paradise right there with, what in the fuck is that? Oh my God, whoa. Edit that out. Yeah, eat shit. But they got a little, <laughs> got a little rain fly over here that they stuffed all the gear under last night. Turn around. No shit. Uh, you could brew up coffee so you can shit. Oh, no, we have a hell of a view from this spot. You can't see it yet, but... It's pretty good. We just got back <clears throat> from our long hike today. Back out, I should say. Came back out after a little break. Dakota and Ken went up a little bit higher. Um, we're gonna do a little bit of cow calling. 
try a different tactic. We're in, uh, as you can see, a big burn area. So we're going to be looking into here and then uh, seeing if we can't get anything to come out. But we'll see. So last night at about one o'clock in the morning, we wake up sleeping in a fucking puddle. Come out here as a torrential downpour. All of this was completely run off all the way through here. In pissing rain, we're out here digging trenches. I don't know if you can see that. Digging trenches next to the tent so the water quits draining inside. Tried to dam it up right there. Fuck. This whole thing, this whole frozen piece of shit was a river last night. This is a trench we dug all the way out. <coughs> it drained down over here and then it would come across and left a huge big old puddle right here. It was a fun night. Everybody's out here with their headlamps on and shovels and pissing rain. What'd you think of all that last night? <laughs> James? What'd you think of all that last night? Bullshit. <laughs> so we ended up sleeping in the truck. What he wet wet. Yeah, because I'll show you inside the tent. Good morning, campers. Good morning. Oh. This is where all the mayhem happened. You can still see water. It's dried out quite a bit. But all of our bags are soaked. Everything we had completely soaked through. Woo. Trying to hang stuff up. I stayed dry. <laughs> yeah. And Ken all stayed dry. dry. <laughs> He's the only smart one out of the group. Uh, this is where I was sleeping. I rolled over and just stuck my arm in my whole side right in a fucking puddle. So now, shit's all flipped around. Preston's over here, sleeping on this part. His sleeping bag's still soaked. Yeah, I'm sleeping close to the wall so I don't get wet. Uh, James and I slept inside the truck. Preston was in there for a little while, ended up getting pretty cold, so... He came back in here where the stove is. Um, yeah, it was a it was a fun night. Say that. Mother Nature's just been kicking us in the dick the whole fucking trip. 